Well, Brandon, uh, nice to meet you. Thank you for spending some of this time with us and uh, we welcome your family to Los Angeles. How's the transition been so far? It's been great. You know, California, you know, we got to see a little bit of it. My wife and I came out here on a little bit of a scouting trip and familiarized ourselves with a lot of the area and um, everybody's been great to us. So, you know, we're feeling more and more comfortable each day. As you wrapped up a third season as a position coach in the NFL in Denver this time around, did you have ambitions to furthering your NFL coaching career going into this offseason? Yeah, you know, I, I was fortunate to be with, uh, you know, one of the best defense coaches in the game, Vic Fangio and uh, Ed Donatel. And, um, you know, we had a really great run together. So, you know, as soon as I got to the NFL with the Bears, you know, it was always a goal of mine to become a defensive coordinator. And I think, you know, being with those guys the last, you know, three years has, has really prepared me for this. And, you know, you're always hoping for a chance, but um, just very fortunate that Sean was able to give me one. So how did you connect with Sean? Uh, you know, the NFL is a, is a tight circle. You know, it's a special fraternity and uh, I didn't know it, but um, he had reached out to a lot of people that um, I had coached with or, um, you know, whether it was college or pro along the way. And um, I think he did his research on me, uh, you know, unbeknownst to me, but, um, you know, talked to a lot of people that I had worked with. And, um, you know, after the season, you know, we reached out and we kind of know a lot of the same people, although we had never met in person. And um, so it, it felt really comfortable, really natural. As you know, last year, this defense was somewhere between really good and truly excellent for the better part of the season with a few really confusing games mixed in. Where are you in the process of evaluating what you inherit here with the Rams and making some decisions about the future of those players and that personnel? I think that's why this, this is so exciting. You know, what Sean and Les and Kevin and uh, Mr. Cronky, what they've built here, there's such a great foundation that's been laid these first three years. And, you know, we got to play against the Rams when I was in Chicago the year they went to the Super Bowl. So, you know, I was aware of the type of players that are on this team. And, um, and then going to the interview process, I was actually able to, you know, prepare, you know, quite a bit, you know, um, and watch these guys. And I think that's what's exciting is that there's, there's so many guys in place that have been responsible um, for this great three-year run. And, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to meeting those guys and start to work with them. Did you and Sean relive that uh, freezing game in Chicago? Yeah, we talked about it. You know, I think, uh, a lot, you know, a lot of people will uh, allude to that game as being maybe a key component in this. But I think it's just our, our, our visions for, you know, football. And I think that the respect that we have for each other, what, you know, what Sean does offensively, what we've done defensively, that's what really brought us together. Um, and not just the scheme, but just how you treat players and how you treat coaches. And, um, and then the scheme, that kind of that takes care of itself. But, you know, we, we talked about the game and, you know, we were kind of able to declassify some of that yeah. stuff. Um, and uh, it was fun. Fair to say the Rams are staying 3-4? Yeah, oh, absolutely. You know, I think that's why it was such a good fit. I think Sean was very specific in what he was looking for. Um, he didn't want to make wholesale changes because this was a, a very good defense. So, um, you know, I think that stylistically it'll, it'll be similar to what, um, you know, has been here before. You've worked with some incredible edge rushers in recent years, be it Khalil Mack, Von Miller, uh, Bradley Chubb recently. I wonder, do you need a proven edge presence to win with the Rams on defense? I, mean, I think any defense needs that. You know, I think that any time you have players um, on your defense that can rush the passer um, and play dominantly against the run game, uh, it gives your defense an edge. You know, and so the NFL in every level of football, it's a line of scrimmage game. And the better you are at the point of attack, it doesn't matter what side of the ball, the better chance you're going to have to be uh, to, to be successful. So I think that you know I've been fortunate to have those guys that are in the top one percent. Mm -hmm. um, you know, at their position, but I think that for any defense to function, you've got to be good at the point of attack. Well, they don't play that position, but I'm sorry that in your first NFL coordinator opportunity, you have to find a way to figure out how to win with Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey. Yeah. How much thought have you given so far to their roles in the upcoming defense? Well, you know, number one, just you're, you're just so excited about um, the type of people they are. You know, when you come into a building, you hear about what type of people they are what type of competitors they are. You know the talent, just you know, being from a co being a coach and being able to watch film and you can see the, the talent, but what makes you know the special players special is, is their competitiveness and, and their drive and um, their desire to be great. So, you know, working with those guys is, you know, I can't wait to connect with them soon enough, you know, and um, and start to get to work because, you know, they allow you to do things that um, most defenses don't allow you to do, mm -hmm. you know, and it gives you a lot of flexibility. So, um, but the biggest thing with guys like that is getting to know them, earn their trust, 
and um, that's what I'm looking forward to doing. Last thing, Brandon, that is Sean has spoken numerous times about how thankful and appreciative he is for the opportunities he was given early in his career. You know, in his own words, maybe before he was ready or had earned them. I think a lot of people will see a similarity here in the opportunity he's affording you. How anxious and motivated are you to take advantage of this chance with the Rams? My family's so grateful to him um, because, you know, when someone believes in you and has a vision for you before everybody else, um, you're always going to have um, this gratefulness and appreciation to them and um, it's extremely motivating you know it gives you it gives you a lot of confidence it puts a lot of wind in your sails and you also feel a deep responsibility because when you get an opportunity like this um, there, there's a, a big responsibility that comes with it and we're just looking forward to getting started and um, working together to, to be as good as we can be for the Rams. Well, we're happy to have you and your family. Welcome to Los Angeles, and we look forward to getting to know you all better during this off-season program. Thank you. All right.